What does he have in mind? We saw last week the Brotherhood seemingly siding with the Alaskan superstar, but has Cody Knight accepted their invitation? Oh my God, no! No! No, a big boot lays out Metalhead and Smiley Simpson. Tell me this isn't happening. Tell me that I did not just see that. Has Cody Knight joined the Brotherhood? Oh no! Cody Knight made a deal with the devil himself and has joined the Brotherhood. This is sickening! And he has laid a path of destruction in his way because this is what we're going to see in the future with Cody Knight in the Brotherhood. Here we go, Donnie. The first time we've seen the violent gentleman himself, Miles Blackwell, since securing, well, I guess he's had it for a while, but actually being officially the CCW Southern States champion. And now we get to see him against fan favorite and newcomer, the authentic one, Brian Adam. Brian Adam with a big opportunity here, a chance to beat the violent gentleman for the Southern States title. Escorted as always to the ring by Brian Blitz. And you may remember, it was at Wrestle Bash 31 that thanks to Brian Blitz, Daniel Anderson was able to get a victory over Brian Adam. Will Lightning strike twice? Can Brian Adam overcome this two front wall? And the CCW Southern States Championship is on the line. Donnie Harris and Steve Dalton on the call. And what a contrasting match it is. You just see the power of the authentic one, Brian Adams. The violent gentleman, Miles Blackwell. Going to have to think of some other way to try to get the victory here in his first ever title defense, Steve. Great strength from the authentic one, Brian Adams. The physique. He looks great in the ring tonight. Both men locking up here. The authentic one with the violent gentleman in a headlock. 
wrenching away. Violent gentleman complaining about something to the referee. Brian Adam wasting no time. Just wrenching that wrist. Now pulling the arm behind the violent gentleman. And the violent gentleman, he has experience in facing off against men that are significantly stronger than him. Yeah, as we mentioned, Steve, he was able to win the Southern States title from the machine, Bryce Maddox. The authentic one, you know, Brian Adam, so far in control for the most part here in this early matchup. But you've got to watch out for that diamond encrusted deviant there on the side, Brian Blitz. I was about to say, I've been locked on him ever since we've started this contest. He's already working on the official here. We'll see what this one has to hold. Or see what this has uh, in store here. Brian Adam getting a USA chant here at Stomping Ground Studios. Miles Blackwell a little ways from home over in the United Kingdom. Another lock up here. Uh-oh, raking the eyes here, Donnie. you see the dirty tactics of the violent gentleman. Raking the eyes of Brian Adam. Brian Adam able to recover there. Drop kick, beautiful. Down goes the violent gentleman. Beautiful drop kick by the authentic one, Brian Adam. Brian Adam has speed and strength on his own. Oh! Absolute foul. Violent Didn't gentleman that coming, dirty though. individual. Right hand after right hand. After an illegal blow, I might add. Just laying into Brian Adam, trying to get him against this corner. And really, this is what you got to do. You got to keep striking and just try to grind down the authentic one. They're eating away at him here, Donnie. Those vicious kicks of Miles Blackwell, one of the most powerful moves in his arsenal. Working on the front and now the back of Brian Adam. Going to try to go for the pinfall. And there you just see the hubris of Miles Blackwell. Thinking all he has to do is just put one hand on the chest and get the pinfall. Uh, the violent gentleman, also known as the disrespect, disrespectful gentleman. Not a gentleman at all there. Working in the headlock here on the uh, on the it's authentic one, Nile. Referee checking to make sure it's all legal. Uh -oh. Referee giving the violent gentleman to the count of five. He's a three, he's a four. Brian Bliss, just look at him. Working that cane around, stirring up trouble as usual. And this is just typical of, of Miles Blackwell. When he can't, when he can't win, or when he can't win a match on his own, man. He's of his dirty tactics. DDT there, Donnie could be going for a pinfall. Vicious DDT just once again working on the head of, of the authentic one. Nobody home there. Trying to shake the pain out of that wrist. Beautiful clothesline into the corner there. And now just working away with those elbows. First there by the one. And a beautiful lariat clothesline by Brian Adam. Rallying once again. And another beautiful clothesline by Brian Adam. Crowd really behind him here, Donnie. Trying to get one more. Misses. Beautiful and elbow by Miles Blackwell. He ate that one, Donnie. How about that? What did you say, Brian? Always grabbing the hair. Look at that. Brian Blitz talking to the authentic one, Brian, Brian Adams. I think those are words of encouragement. Throwing Brian Adams to the other side once again. And Miles Blackwell just throwing all his body. And once again, another lariat by the violent gentleman, Brian Adams, back on his back yet again. What are we going to see here from the violent gentleman working him back into the center of the ring here? I'm trying to make sure he can't get, get to either of those ropes. He's going up top. It looks here, Donnie. To the second rope, Miles Blackwell not known as a high flyer here in CCW. But the Southern States title means so much. Looking He's willing to, fly, to try Donnie. anything. Will we see a British man fly here, Steve? The answer is yes. Beautiful elbow. This has got to be it here for the authentic one. Going for a pinfall. And a near and fall. Kick out Unbelievable. Out what is Brian Adam made of? Well, the title's on the line. We see the best from, from anybody with the title on the, on the line. Well, when you know a championship is on the line, you are able to go further and endure more. Brian Adam in his first ever title opportunity here in CCW. And he wants to make the most of it. Beautiful chops there from the authentic one, Brian Adam. Call it for another one. And here you just see the resilience and the power of Brian Adam. Uh -oh, Miles give him another taste of his own medicine, it looks like. Up and over. 
Did Blitz really just tell Brian to watch the hair? After everything Miles has done to him during this matchup. Oh, stepping on the fingers there. Ooh. Love that tactic. Perfect. Uh -oh. What did we see here? What's in his hands? It's brass knuckles, Donnie. What? What? Referee ordering to have the brass what? knuckles. What are we gonna see here, Donnie? Those, I don't think those are I don't think those are um oh, Brian's. No, look at here. I'm pretty sure. Boom. Brian Adams didn't see the violent gentleman there. Beautiful swing blade by Miles Blackwell. Going for the pinfall. This is it, Donnie. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner by pinfall and still Southern States champion, Miles Blackwell. And Steve, once again, And Steve, once again, Brian Adam there having to face a two-front war and thanks to some shenanigans by Brian Blitz and Miles Blackwell, they cost Brian Adam his very first opportunity at gold here in CCW. I tell you what, he saw the brass knuckles coming. He didn't see that. Honestly, I can't wait for this one, Donnie. The fan favorite, a guy that I've met personally with many times uh, since his debut here, the Sicilian Cowboy, Joe Fernari. Joe Undefeated, Fern I might add. Joe Fernari has went up and defeated every man that he has come across here in CCW. But, Steve, you could say that he still is not the odds-on favorite because he is up against a different caliber of opponent that being the former world champion, Daniel Anderson. Daniel Anderson, who was victorious against or against Brian Adam at WrestleBash 31. Joe Finari also picking up a victory at WrestleBash 31. Wanting that momentum could con to continue here with a win over against, like I said, a bigger caliber opponent, Daniel Anderson. One of the most ex experienced veterans in all of professional wrestling. Daniel Anderson, multiple CCW champion, as you just spoke about. This one will be exciting. You see Daniel Anderson just dodging out of the way and laughing. I don't think he takes Joe Finari seriously. That could be a mistake for the CCW veteran. Oh, wait till it ends. You're gonna love that. Waiting to get started here. Nobody home from Daniel Anderson. Pushed into the middle turnbuckle, and the crowd. They go wild for anything Joe Fernari does. And you see the surprise of uh, shock on Daniel Anderson's face. What does he expect? There's a reason Joe Fernari's undefeated. He's no lightweight. Well, he's a large individual, a very strong individual, and Daniel Anderson will get every bit of that. 
Walked up by both men. Headlocked by, by the Sicilian Cowboy, just trying to choke the life, if you will, out of Daniel Anderson. Daniel Anderson trying to power out, but no. Down on one knee, back up again. Fernari looking strong so far. Anderson trying to get away. Wrenching at that midsection is Daniel Anderson, not phasing Joe Fernari at all. Joe Fernari, a former rodeo star, knows what it's like to hold in and just lock onto something for dear life, and now just locking into that wrist and twisting it of Daniel Anderson. Oh, beautiful from Joe Fernari in total control, going for a pinfall. One, one, Kick out at two by Daniel Anderson. Joe Fernari wasting no time blocking in that submission. Wants to keep that undefeated streak alive, Steve. Daniel Anderson trying to fight back to his feet in a world of trouble so far early on here tonight. Of course, don't forget Daniel Anderson has that has that ace in his back pocket, Brian Blitz, who is not above interfering in these matchups to get his client the victory. Looking for a lariat. That is not going to do anything to Joe Fernari. Nobody home there. Fernari looking beautiful. Daniel Anderson going to the outside. Joe Fernari got some air there. Daniel Anderson's no lightweight. Daniel Anderson a bit confused here, ringside. Joe Fernari about Blitz to get chased. We could be in trouble here, ringside. Thankfully, they're heading away from us, Steve. Brian Blitz is in a hurry to get out of here. Joe Fernari behind him, and he might be the middleman. Turning into a little bit of a race around the ring. Daniel Anderson got the high ground first. Joe Fernari going in next. Oh, that was the. Oh, I don't care who you are, that's gonna hurt. And that is why he is a wily veteran. Any opportunity he gets, he's gonna take it. Inexperience was just showing there at Joe Fanari. An inexperience that Daniel Ooh, is taking advantage of. Referee giving warnings there to Daniel Anderson. I don't think he's gonna beat him. Daniel Anderson throwing all his weight on the cowboy. Fierce elbow there, Donnie. The cowboy in the most trouble we've ever seen him in. Not used to seeing the cowboy on his back for this long. Got to the count of five. And Daniel Anderson, of course, wants to become world champion once again. And a win over an undefeated opponent could get him in line for a title shot very soon, Steve. Looking for a suplex here. Beautiful suplex from Daniel Anderson. Uh oh, his O could go right here, Donnie. Hey, kick out of two. The O ain't going to go that quick, Steve. And this is, uh, you know, we, we're seeing Joe Fernari have to dig deep here tonight to get a victory. This one will not be easy. Well, this match has, always, has already lasted longer than any of Joe Fernari's past matches. The Cowboy might not know where to go from here. A lot of ring time in Daniel Anderson's pocket. That is one thing he has an advantage in tonight. Setting the Cowboy up now. Just striking him. Has to the count of four there. To break it up, break it up. Now going to go again. Trying to get to the rope. Missed there. Now back up again. Uh -oh, what can we see here, Donnie? Uh oh, down goes Daniel Anderson. What we, saw is, what we saw is Daniel Anderson fell on the sting of the mat. I think we're fixing to have a flying cowboy here, possibly. Uh -oh, here he goes. Landing both fists under the head of Daniel Anderson. Momentum back in the cowboy. Corner, a clothesline. Another clothesline. Joe Fernari in all control right now. Beautiful scoop slam by the Sicilian Cowboy. How is Daniel Anderson even still standing? In the corner now. Uh oh, here we go. Going for the eight second right. No! At the last second, Daniel Anderson able to stop it by stomping on his feet. And wait, wait, oh, wait, what's going here? What, what are we seeing here? Was he really? It, he tried to do it right in front of the ref. Uh oh. That pause uh -oh, is going to there. Rolled up here. He got it! Oh my god, he got it! Joe Fanari beat Daniel Anderson! The streak is still alive! We're shot, Brian Blitz is shot here ringside. And here comes the diamond exchange. All of them now, Brian Blitz. When Joe Fanari's down. Joe Fanari got the victory. With a diamond exchange. There goes Brian Adams with a chair. Reinforcements here for the Cowboy. Brian Adams, as you said, going to check on Joe Finari. Brian Adams has had his own run-ins with the diamond exchange. Losing to Daniel Anderson at Wrestle Bash. And thanks to dirty tactics by Miles Blackwell, 
Uh, Brian Adams lost a Southern Stakes matchup, but he was not going to let them get the better of the Sicilian Cowboy, Joe Finari. What an alliance we have there in the ring. Brian Adams and Joe Finari. Joe Finari showing some gratitude for coming to his aid. Still undefeated, the Sicilian Cowboy, Joe Finari. 